Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Count Christo and this is the glorious Canadian Commonwealth campaign. We've got some uh, some odd borders in Africa, but some strategically pretty good ones. Okay, they're developing the Spanish Federation. They're not called the Spanish Federation. They're called the Federation of Anarchists, probably of Spain, which is why they're called the Spanish Federation. Um, we need more rubber. I guess I should focus on that rather than this. I should focus on the fact that we need to take these guys out. Oh, look, some of our allies landed. Sensibly, even. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, let's send them over here. Uh, you guys. That's fine. Okay, uh, so these guys, how do they go? They're not reinforced up yet, so I can't tell. Okay. What am I short on? It's basically heavy tanks at this point. We're about to start really plowing out the military factories again, so that'd be good. How much army experience are we getting from all these fights? Not attacking much anymore, so not too much. But some. Each time they launch one of those attacks, we gain a bit. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of these rubbish infantry divisions. They really don't don't deserve to continue existing at this stage. Yep. Just more of these ones, please. Hopefully our remaining 17 divisions will be sufficient to hold this border. I imagine that they will. You did not know you were over there. Okay, yes, so they do go down to low enough. Good. So the um, these artillery divisions can all be switched rather than deleted and then retrained. All right, so where are these guys? There's one up here, there's one here, there's one here. There's one here, yep. You can all go home. There's only 13 of these guys now. Well, temporarily, you two can be assigned up here. And where are you two? Down there. Oh, no, these are the experiment ones, aren't they? All right, we need to leave them down there for the purposes of our experiment. Anyone finished training? Yes, these two have. Send some of them to Afghanistan. Okay, these guys with the can stop training, because with the exception of one of them, they don't need any training. They can start planning a naval invasion. Here. So where should we naval invade? Probably over here. I have one land here. And the other can land here. Which I imagine our allies will lose very shortly. But even if they don't, we can still land there. Oh, they made a push in the south. See the one area without the river defending. That's where they go in. It's still a close one, though. I'm not really interested in having possessions over here. There's very few military factories. How many have you got, even? 18. I mean, it's nothing... It's not too small. And there's lots of resources over here. So we probably will annex this whole area. Although we might make a puppet. Probably make a puppet for the military power. Sorry, the uh, political power, to be honest. If we're being honest. Portugal still has Goa. Cool. When did Portugal lose Goa? Did they have it in the vanilla? I can't remember. Hmm. I should check in my next vanilla game. I mean, this is pretty useful training exercise going on over here. Might as well leave it running for now. I definitely don't want to be attacking from France. We're going to solo Egypt. Odd that people don't take all of their opponents anymore in these peace deals. Okay. Oh. The clique won their civil war. Cool. Oh, they puppeted to bet rather than annexing them. How nice of them. Oh, I'm planning this in the wrong guy. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I'll give you a general then. Is that a commando? Yeah. I think we'll just go with this guy though. Top level guy. Sometimes it's helpful to have a general for... Uh, for this. I fell in and then very swiftly back out of love for having a separate army for um, tanks. It's quite handy sometimes, but the problem is you um, you can't box select and press H. That's the main reason I can never stand having multiple armies. You just you can't box select and press H, which seriously limits your ability to, um, to control your units quickly, especially in multiplayer. It's, it's very, very tricky. In single player, it's probably okay. But in multiplayer, 
you need the ability to very quickly tell people to stop. Okay, they're pretty much fully reinforced and they haven't gone, definitely haven't gone all the way down, so I think we consider that experiment a success. We need a better amphibious invasion tech. We also need better naval bombers and better close air support. Let's start working on those. I'd also like... Oh, we're almost out of uh, stuff to build. Well, I don't want to assign it up here yet, so let's go. Give it to you. Sorry. Let's go build it down here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, how are the naval invasions going? No one here. Looks like we're going to be able to easily push in here. As long as they can't get the reinforcements in in time. Which they can't because they're just far too strong. Okay, let's reassign some of these. We're going to switch these over the smart way rather than the easy way. Light cruiser, light cruiser, and just two. One to the first fleet, one to the second fleet, and then we're going to want another bunch of these, and these are the ones I think I'm going to modify. We're going to get some crazy deck space, we're going to get some good armor, we're going to get some really good reliability to help deter, well, maybe one reliability, maybe better engine. Engine's not hugely important on these, let's get better reliability. Reliability makes it less likely that you have uh, critical hits against you. The illustrious class might have won, and we would like eight of those, please. And thank you. More naval bombers. I think we go up on naval bombers, actually. Let's go down to 25 fighters and up to a bunch more naval bombers, because we're not fighting people that have um, carriers, basically. All right, the reserve should have a spare level 2 carrier in it, yes, so this level 2 carrier the first fleet let's prioritize making the first fleet the best fleet so we'll put the level 2 carriers in here first just so I know which one to kind of use as my priority fleet so this one near the Cape of Africa can go back to the reserve and this one in eastern Canada can go to the first fleet is that right? You're the level 2 one? Yes, good. And now indeed both fleets, the second fleet, should uh, come be here. And the first fleet should come be here. Let's go here and here with the first fleet. Well, do we need to go here? No, not really. Let's go here with the first fleet, here with the second fleet, and the destroyer fleet can go up here. Perfect. This landing's a bit tricky, but it looks like we're going to take this port in no time. How long? 15 hours, no problem. How did equipment production? Oh, yes, of course, those ones. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Uh, new tech. Uh, close this port. Sounds good. Oh, they did get some more guys there, but these guys are pretty glorious. One of them should stay behind to hold that. Are these guys successfully landing? They are, but it's a tr it's trouble. What's our name amphibious and penalty? Only 37% because we've got so many marines. That's good. You guys support attack in. Oh, see, the second they do that... All right, there we go. One of you attack up there, or two of you attack up there. Ooh, this is tricky stuff. But we are making some gains here. Come on. Take the port. Come on. If he goes up here and attacks them, they won't be able to re-engage the port. You guys can stop where you are. Just focus on surviving. Come on. We've no supply here because of legation cities, do we? No. I thought maybe we could get some in for the legation cities. If we had military access, we could, but sadly, we're not going to be able to get military access. How long? Three days. Whew, come on. Yes, what happened? Hey, <laughs> what good timing. There was a naval invasion at the very moment that we arrived by our allies that actually took the port. That is such good timing. <laughs> That's excellent. All right, let's take this area. We should train some uh, port defense guys soon. And we should edit these, actually, to have the... Not anti-tank. To have the, um, the stuff that we require. 40, 40 combat width. And it will be 40, because they won't have a field marshal to command them. Is that correct? Do I not have another field marshal with offensive doctrine? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, retake the port. Yes, there's the defense of the port secure. Excellent. Now these these guys can hold forever. 
Modify government. Uh, well, not forever, but you know what I mean. For a very long time. Infantry division attack and more recruitable population is pretty darn good. I'd love to get him, but sadly we'd have to be a socialist. He's pretty good. Artillery goes down. Artillery provides 15% more attack. I like the recruit population, though. We could have him. Max entrenchment plus 15. Yeah. yeah. It's not even a decision. Our max entrenchment is now 83. We've got two guys giving plus 15. It's almost as if... Almost as good as if we'd taken... Uh, grand Battle Plan. <laughs> that is really good. Alright, you guys start training. You guys almost done. One of you is done. You can come over here. Because these guys are now going in to the fray. Don't need to garrison this area up here anymore. Since it uh, doesn't matter if you lose it. Of course they lose, but that doesn't matter. How are you walking in without attacking us? Oh, I'm paused. <laughs> Silly me. Anyone trained in these ones? Not yet. Reserve just has level 1s in it. Yep, cool. Other good thing about using a reserve like this is it means uh, you get more guys, more ships that are actually trained. Because you know, if we had to deploy those level 1 ones, they'd still be pretty great. Because they'd all have their uh, their max training. Why did you retreat? Oh, he didn't get a chance to reinforce into the battle before this guy retreated, I guess. Makes sense. Won that one. They basically have no navy, yeah? Yeah, okay, in which case, you guys can just convoy raid, which is a great way to train carriers, by the way. Carriers get crazy amounts of uh, naval experience from convoy raiding. Where's my subfleet? There it is. Subfleet. We're going we're gonna to convoy raid out of this area. If it could just go there for me, and I'll set it up. Probably set it up now. Might as well, really. Here's the big army. Now you're in real trouble, boys. If we get to our manpower cap, what I may do instead of going up to uh, service by requirement is change up the template so it just has more and more heavy tanks in it. Just becoming more and more wildly powerful. It does sound rather appealing. Maritime rail expansion. Nice. Polymer Corporation first. That gives us support equipment protection cost minus 15%. Let's do it. What does this, na this name mean? Does anyone know? L... I really don't know. I'd be very curious if anyone in the comments knew, knew what that word meant. Those words. The name. The whole name. <laughs> do, do, do... Legation cities have a surprising number of troops. 25 to 30. And they don't even get the uh, national spirit profit from Legation cities. That seems distinctly unfair. The sub supermarine Spitfire. And we'll get the carrier cap capable version of that as well. Now this, f this na army needs uh, tweaking. Because it should be under this guy really. There we go. Now they're all getting even more entrenchment. How much entrenchment can get there now? 109%. <laughs> oh god, we have low supply down here. I didn't realise. This must be a bad port. Oh, I should have checked that first. It's a rubbish port. Quick, get that port up. Oh, and this is an individual province. Like a one province state. That's cool. I should put some infrastructure there. That's really bad. Okay, the extra guys that are coming in, wherever they are, here and, where are you, here, and you, don't actually come in, come and come and hang out up here, we don't want to make supply even worse, and let's send some of these guys home. Alright, some more guys getting trained here, you can go to this army, and this whole army can go to this army. And it can send itself over to Africa. We'll start seeing if we can get enough guys on the African front to uh, start making an impact there. How's this front going? Yeah, that's where I should send them. Not Africa. Send them to Afghanistan. We still don't have enough guys over there. Don't really need a training exercise right now since we've got this one over in uh, China. So let's launch an all-out assault on the Afghanistani front. Hopefully this isn't going to be another 
white peace by event. And we can give all this land to India. I would take it myself. It would be more min maxi, but for the sake of pretty borders, I think I shall give it all to India. Let's just activate this battle plan. This clearly doesn't look like much of a challenge over here. All green blobs all the way along. And I know, I know, I've said don't trust them. Which is generally right. But still. Lots of convoy raiding going on. Good. Let's see how trained up our guys are getting. Yes, he's already up to regular, this, this guy. How's the one in the other fleet going? Yep, also up to regular. Nice. But just because the way they get experience is by sending out planes. And they're constantly, constantly sending out planes when they're in, in combat like that. Let's put an airbase over here too. It's level 3, should do. Problem is we can't build here while they're attacking here. Maybe we should try and expand out a bit in order to avoid that problem. One of them should stay behind. Although they can support attack. Just in case they do something sneaky like naval invade behind us. I've never seen the AI do that, but it's uh, annoyed me too many times in multiplayer to, to not let that be protected. Now, good. Now we can actually start making some headway building this uh, port. Oh gosh, we're up to finished all of that. Right, time to do this then. And really, these ones will power out so quickly because we've got all that uh, infrastructure in this area. Where else have we got some infrastructure now? It's 40% here, it's not bad. Though, aren't we making more over there at some point? Yes, there is some adding somewhere over there. Uh, where else can I build military factories? Oh, there might be some down here that's got good infrastructure. Yep, that's good. Uh, where else? Over here in... in I think that's pretty good. Um, running out of space now. I guess it's time to just do this. It's what I call militarization. Alright. That titty little island there. Oh, there's no slots there. And there, awesome. We're not going to do a world conquest in this game, but I will. I do want to beat all the mages, so we're probably going to beat France. We probably will beat. We'll fight Russia, probably. If you have any suggestions to what I should play next in Kaiserreich, I am open to suggestions. Like I say, I like the idea of playing as Germany with everyone else being super buffed. It could be tough. We might have to like hold this river and then hold the mountains, or this ri hold this river, this river. We might have to attack. If we attacked Austria early. Well, the problem is you can't attack that 75% world tension, so we'll, we'll have to see. What are we still making this outdated? Ah, oh, yes, the Fighter 1s. Should I make a variant of the Fighter 2s? I probably should. Let's just make just a bit, a, bit, a bit better engine. Sounds good. We're inventing closer support 2, aren't we? Yeah, it's taking a while. Emirate of Afghanistan, cool. It wasn't a force white piece. Dominion Vineyard, yeah, congratulations. You can have all this. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, God. That was an accident. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get an event in a second to release it as a puppet. That's so ugly. I think you have to have all of it to release it as a puppet, though. Shall I go back to an autosave? That was an accident, and it's so ugly. Let's go back to an autosave. Save the game. That's just so ugly. I'll just quickly boot up the this one. That doesn't count as safe scumming, does it? Because it's not going to make a difference in terms of strategy. It's just it's just for the sake of the border gore, really. <laughs> Anywho, I guess it was just the capturing of Kabul that uh, that made them capitulate. So let's prioritize that to make it happen sooner. Unassigned divisions. Start training. What else did I do most very recently? Um, switched over the fighters. Oh, and I did this whole attack up here. Thing. Alright, with one of you going there and attacking up there. Good. Definitely a good idea, so we can actually make some progress on this port, because that supply is, is dire. Oh, that uh, artillery noise. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, it's quite a satisfying noise. I don't know why. Seventy-seven divisions? Oh, seventeen. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> that strikes me as altogether too many. 
Oh, it's also before I did the change where I sent the guys up there. Okay. Let's just quickly do that. Where are they? Somewhere over here, right? Yep, there they are. There we are. Nice. But that is the end of this episode. Next time, we shall probably launch a major offensive against China. But until then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.